Hey, Cinemark fans, I'm here with the cast and director of the movie that is going to make you feel all the feels gross. Now, my first question is with this groundbreaking film, it's so long overdue. I wonder what each of your first reactions were when you first heard the grumblings of this film even being made. Eve, we'll start with you. I was not even necessarily aware of it. I just auditioned for it and I was super thrilled to have like a prospective job. It, the kind of groundbreaking nature was initially sort of lost on me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and it wasn't really until TIFF that I kind of realized how amazing this is and how kind of triumphant this is. And how about for you, Doc? Um, for me, both Jim and I were at the table read back in 2019. And I know for myself, um, I'd never read, in 31 years doing this, I've never read a script that was remotely close to this. It may have one character in the script that would be gay or the LGBTQ community. And to have the whole cast um, LGBTQ was incredible and something I never thought I'd see, but thought we should have seen by then. And Jim, when you first read the script, what surprised you about this film? Well, first I had a lot of notes. No, <laughs> uh, not at all. I He still I, does. I, I do have notes <laughs> and I've told you. Uh, no, I mean, dot, dot, like uh, we were at that table read and, I, and, and I'll tell you what, and I've told this to Billy, I love monologues. And you write them in scripts and you will have a hard time fighting the powers that be to keep that monologue in there. Especially in TV, they're like, we are not going to listen to that. But they are so powerful when they work and, and Billy fought for the ones that are in this movie and for good reason. So as a writer, I'm jealous that he won that fight. This happens to be Bisexual Awareness Week and no one has acknowledged it! Lesbian History Month was in March! Nobody said a goddamn thing! Of course, lesbians get a month and we get a week. <laughs> Talk to us about assembling not only an incredible cast, but the proper representation for these roles. So we cast, we, we knew early on that we wanted to cast a gay actor to play opposite Billy, so we cast Luke, and then we were like, let's cast an entirely LGBTQ cast. And we did that for a few reasons. It seemed like the right thing to do, um, given the subject matter. Uh, but also there's a joke in the movie about like straight people playing gay parts. And so for that joke to work, it'd be strange if there were a bunch of straight actors playing gay parts. Um, and then we were like, let's cast the straight actors as gay actors too, why not? And then finally, I, you know, the for me, the secret weapon of every of any comedy is the funny person you've never seen before. So if, if you think about like Melissa McCarthy and Bridesmaids, um, you know, that's someone people hadn't seen in that capacity and it kind of, and so I knew that if we did this, it would take us a bit longer maybe to find the right people, but that we would find people you'd never seen before and who were funny and new and exciting ways. So this movie really plays within the boundaries of a rom-com, but then at times kind of goes above and beyond the genre. <laughs> what were some of you and Billy's goals when first writing this? You know, when we sat down to start writing, I said to him, the movie needs to be honest, it needs to be really funny, and it, be, it needs to have a happy ending. Um, and so those are kind of the three things we kind of have to accomplish. Um, it's the goal that I set out, you know, uh, with all the movies I make, that because the more honest you are, uh, uh, the funnier the movie is. And so that was something that I think, and that's true of the best rom-coms. You know, I think that genre gets a, gets dinged because uh, it's very hard to make a good one because you have to really dig deep. And, you know, and the best ones, if you think about When Harry Met Sally, When Harry Met Sally is a very raw film. Like those are two pretty messed up characters who have to figure their stuff out in order to end up together. And that's, and that's the reason it works. It isn't because he runs through the streets and gives a nice speech at the end. It's all of the stuff building up to it. And, um, and I think that's true of this too. We, we kind of tried to dig deep and make sure that every thing made emotional sense and felt true. Love is complicated. Yes. Love is complicated. <laughs> Everyone should go see this film by getting your tickets at Cinemark. What is going on with you? My whole life, I prided myself on being self-reliant, but this guy has gone into my head. Maybe you're both bottoms and that's the problem. Bottom dance! Bottom dance! Yeah. Gay sex was more fun when straight people were uncomfortable with it. So 